I love that you spoke about, you know, the good and the bad. Often women are encouraged to be good girls. And I think it's quite healthy to dive into a little toxic, discover what your bad a little bit is, which brings me to your next masterpiece, Being Mary Jane. The series <laughs> follows Mary Jane Paul, a successful TV anchor who carries the weight of her TV show and family's well-being on her shoulders, all while desiring love, marriage, and a child. And Compared to girlfriends, you know, this girlfriends which felt like fun, you know, and exploratory. And this one had a bit more pressure to it, this sort of idea about um, running out of time. And what conversation I like, you know, in your interview, you say you're having a conversation with the audience and, and black women. What conversation were you having with black women who may have been feeling that pressure of like, got to get married, got to have a child, got to, you know, got to hit these sort of milestones in love? What was interesting when I was writing Girlfriends, um, there was a point in which I thought Joan wouldn't really say this to the girlfriends, but because the the show was set up in which you had to go sit around the dinner table or the cafe table and share your different you know issues so that we can go explore them, um, I realized I couldn't pack that into the Joan character or into the girlfriend's character. So what I started doing was I was starting to take notes and I would just put it to the side. And this character started visiting me. So being Mary Jane chose me actually. And mm -hmm. I think, and, and when I was sort of realizing what is it that I can't say in girlfriends, which I said a lot at this point already, we're talking about season six. Um, what is it that I'm trying to say? And I think to your point about time, I was, the conversation I was having is that I believe that at that time, what is this early, early, uh, turn of the century, um, or really turn of the millennial, the millennium, excuse me, that women are liars. That's what I was saying. I was like, women are liars, but women had to lie, in my opinion, for their survival. But we were at a tipping point in which if we continued the lies, we were going to choke on our lies. And so I wanted the Being Mary Jane character to sort of just sort of be like this bull in a china shop to sort of get it all out, air it all out. I thought it was interesting. You know, it was also a fun thing to be like a, a woman who had a lot to say about others lived in a glass house. You know, those who live in, you know, throw rocks shouldn't be, you know, that kind of um, whatever that phrasing is. And then the <laughs> the idea glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Glass house shouldn't throw stones. <laughs> she was throwing a lot of them. I mean, Mary Jane, but, and they needed to ricochet back to her. They do need it to, they did need to come back in her house for her to deal with a lot. Um, of was she a Virgo by chance? She sounds like a lot. Of, she sounds a lot like me. She does. <laughs> She's <laughs> right. like, I'd be like, oh, shouldn't have said that. My bad. I'm a mess as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a, yes, but no. Mary Jane did not. It took her a minute to, to admit that. Um, but also the idea that she was so busy telling everybody else's business news, right, and that the real story was inside of herself. And and I think that's what I wanted to lead the conversation. Like, what are these things that are not really serving us? One of them specifically was, you know. Black women thinking like, well, if I don't do it, then it's not going to get done right. And Mary Jane was very much that. Like, if I don't take care of my parents, if I don't do this, if I don't do that, then it's not going to get done. And first of all, whether it be true that you load the dishwasher better than everybody else, it's killing you. And that's not true. If you step out of the way, then people will be able to figure it out. But because she felt and she was put, she put, she was put on a pedestal and she put herself, she kept herself up on that pedestal. I wanted us to look at what are these ideas of ourselves as black women that are a lot of times complimentary, but, but are they complimentary to a point where they've imprisoned us from our truer selves? 